Hello students, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here I have given you a program that what will be the output of the following C code. It is very important question asked in ISRO 2017 from C programming. Basically the concept is of variables and loops. Using these concepts we have to answer that which of the following is correct answer out of A, B, C, D. So let's try to scan the problem. Here you can simply see that it's header file. It's header file, not a problem at all. Thereafter, main function entry is there. I is declared as an integer variable. Now, if you are going to see here, I equals to zero. And every time what we need to do, we have to compare the value of I with five. So initially, if you are going to check at the first level, zero is less than five. It is true, 100%, this is true. So if it is true, then again, I is going to declare 10. So right now the value of I is 10. It is again reassigned and print F percent D I. So what is the value that is going to print 10? 10 is going to be print as an output. Just after that I plus plus, the value of I is going to increment and it will become 11. But again, we are going back to the loop. Now again, I plus plus, this I is going to make the value of I as a one thereafter one is less than five because the scope of this i you here you need to understand scope of this i which i i am i am talking about this i scope of this i is only inside loop only inside for loop out of this for loop, it is not having any kind of significance. That is why we are doing like that. Now, one is less than five. Next time, one is less than five. It is also true. But again, I is going to assign the value 10. Again, it is reinitialized and I is going to value assigned as a 10. That is why, again, 10 is going to be print and I plus plus. Again, the value is going to become 11. Again, if you are going to see, Again, we need to go there, but this is not in the scope of this i. So the value of i is going to become two. I already told you this i, this i is having only this much scope. This i is having only this much scope, right? Now, again, i become two, two is less than five. This time two is less than five, again two, two less than five, again two, yes. If it is true, we are going to inside i equals to assigned as a 10, again, I is going to be assigned the next value as a 10. 10 is going to print again. 10 is going to print again. And I plus plus 10 will going to become 11. Thereafter, again, back to the for loop, value of I is going to increment three. Then three is less than five. Yes, it is true. If it is true, I is going to again assign the value 10. And right now, again, the value of I is a 10. And 10 is going to be print and uh, I plus plus 10 is going to become again 11. Thereafter, again, going back to the loop, again, value will be incremented by one. Four is less than five. Yes, it is true. Four is less than five. It is true. Four is less than five. It is true. If it is true, again, the value of I assigned as a 10. Now, 10 is going to print once more and I plus plus 10 is going to become 11. Thereafter, the value of i is going to become 5. 5 is less than 5. 5 is less than 5. It is false. If it is false, it's going to return the successful return value. That is 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. 5 times 10 is going to print. Option B is the correct answer. The last value or last value of i will be 11 for this i. Last value of i will be become uh, 11. This i basically is having 5 outer i. And this i is having its uh, scope only inside this for loop. This is important concept. So option B is the correct answer. I hope it is very much clear to everyone. Further, if anybody have any kind of doubt or confusion, you can ask me. And do subscribe the YouTube channel and press the bell icon button so that in our upcoming sessions also, you can get such kind of important questions and I'm going to tell you each and every kind of concept like that. Thank you so much, guys. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bhat.